All right. You see me? Yeah. <laughs> so all the time, we always get questions on how to clean Red Wing boots at the shop. Um, so uh, we had a pair that's been sitting back here looking like this. <laughs> how long? For over six months. <laughs> So these are the 8131 model. Um, they're fucked. They're pretty bad. So as you can see, I think Jay wore these when we were doing the remodeling for the shop. Yes, sir. There's literally like caked plaster, mud, paint. These things are really messed up. Now I just took the other side of the shoe and tried to clean as much of the dirt off as possible. I'll just show you guys like a quick way on how to do that. It's got a little tub full of water. I'm gonna take a, get a shot of this water. So it's just like lukewarm water or whatever. Um, you're never really supposed to like wet boots, but there's just so much dirt on these. There's no way not to. Um, but it's all right because the reason why most people don't want, don't want you to like get the leather wet is because they will dry out. But we're gonna go through like a whole process on how to clean them and then how to condition them anyway. So we're just gonna recondition the boot. So it doesn't really matter if it gets wet or not. I mean, it's better that it gets wet and clean than leaving it fucking like this. So you just get a nice stiff bristle brush and just go through and just literally work all this dirt right off the sole. Get all the dirt off of here. These Threads are just caked up with dirt. I don't, I don't know. Sorry. I don't know how much we could do for that. So, I mean, those threads are never going to be white ever again. But it'd be, you don't want to have a pair of broken in boots with white threads anyway, because then it's just going to look like you just bought them. Uh, Warrant thing. How long have you had these boots for, Jay? Uh, three years. No, two, two. Okay, so if you're gonna use the stiff bristle brush on the leather part, make sure that you get the brush with a lot of water and you don't go over it like a long period of time because you don't want to scratch or scrape up this leather too much. Red wing leather is really good anyway, so it could take a lot of it. It's not like cheap boots that you buy. Could, this could take a lot of a lot of damage so, so you can see it it's coming out pretty clean already and you just want to get the bottom you don't necessarily have to clean the bottom but I mean if you're gonna spend the time and reconditioning your boots you might as well don't be a mongrel and just clean the bottom of your shoes don't be a lazy fucking fuck boy this heel drag on here is fucking ridiculous, bro. <laughs> Jay does it. Sometimes this dude will just leave his like leave his boots untied and just drag them around. It's a way to go, though. So that's what he does. That is pretty much as clean as it's gonna get. And what we're gonna do is these down real fast, get all the excess water off of them. Now some people like to let these dry overnight before you do anything else to them, but we're gonna saddle soak these just to clean them off a little bit more. So that doesn't really matter. As of right now, we are actually all sold out of Red Wing Boots, so this is more this is more for the people that, have, that bought the boots from us. And also, we will be getting in new boots uh, coming out this fall. Right now, it's a little too warm to be wearing uh, horse hide boots. I mean, I guess you can. I see people do it. I just wouldn't. I mean, So what I do when it comes to saddle soap is I wet the boot slightly. So they've already dried off a lot, so I wipe them down. 
And then you just take the saddle soap, use your hands. Now this stuff, oh my god. This stuff is, uh, you never want to use this stuff alone on the boot. Like using saddle soap to clean off boots. I mean, if it's a cheap pair of boots, it is what it is. Like, go to town. But when you have a nice pair of boots that you're just trying to restore, you don't ever want to leave the saddle soap on, nor do you want to just use this to clean and then not condition it after. Because this saddle soap will dry out the leather, especially after it's like cleaned off. So I'll just rub it all the way through, make sure you get all the eyelets, all this honeycomb marks on the boot. Stuff smells like shit. Make sure to get the, the leather piping around the collar, around the eyelets, around all the stitching. That's really what needs to be reinforced because that's what keeps the boot together. So there's one. It is soap. And just like, just like soap that you use on your skin, it will dry. It will dry out your skin unless it's like properly it has like proper moisturizers in it for fixings. Yeah. <laughs> Either way, I would always suggest to to condition your boots. Usually at the end of every winter or fall season, I will do this to all my boots just to get them prepared for you know, being inside of the box, inside of the house during uh, spring and summer. Just a good way to do that. So, so that's both boots covered with this stuff. Now, I kind of did this fast, so there's a lot of cell soap on here. But you want to rub it in, especially in the crevices and the creases and shit. Get all the fixings in there. Mm -hmm. Now, even in that short period of time, when I put it on the first one, you can already tell that it's like okay. kind of drying up. So now you just want to wipe it off. This water's hella dirty. Whatever. A lot of that soap will sit like in in between the stitching. You just want to make sure you go through and get all that shit out. You don't want that to sit on your boots. You don't want that. For long, yeah. This ain't what you want. That ain't what you want. Boot is pretty much done. That's what it looks like. We got a little bit of paint on there. Are we just gonna leave that on for character? Yes, sir. Oh, well, oh, too well. bad. Character's gone. Character wasn't ready for the piece. Ready. So, see, like as you can see, just like with the water, you can see it's soaping up. It suds up. It's soap. So, like I said, you definitely don't want to like leave this on for a prolonged period of time. I don't care what the instruction says. It ain't good. You wouldn't want to put soap on your body and just let it dry. Just get be in the shower. Or just put soap on your body and just let it air dry. Like, I'm done. I'm done. The Let's shower, go. The shower is over. Leave the fucking shampoo and shit, too? Yeah, just leave it all in there. You don't want that. Like, this stuff is, uh, it's like, high-quality leather becomes like a second skin after you wear it for a long period of time. It's like a good pair of salvage. You know what I'm saying? So all the people out there buying cheap boots, fucking step your game up. Because cheap boots is garbage. You're not cheating anybody but yourself. Get you a well-paired 
of boots. And if you're going to get yourself a well pair made of boots and you're from the United States, you might as well support good old fashioned traditional homemade products. Doesn't matter, we do it the best. Anyway, you want to go to <laughs> Europe? You want to go to Europe? You want to go to Japan? Ugh. You know what they wear? You know what they want? They want red wing boots. Because we do it. Ugh. America. America. We do it. We do boots the right way. Okay? Ugh. Think about that. We had cowboys. We got blue collar workers. Steel workers. Mine workers. Mind workers? Yeah, mine. Coal? Oh, I thought you, you said mind like brain. Obviously, you don't have no mind workers. <laughs> Right? Because we're a country built on hard work and dedication, we mm -hmm. needed quality materials and equipment. And on your feet, you can't get any better than red wing boots. People could say what they want, people could tell you otherwise, but those people are full of shit. Red wing boots, best American made, best boots, period. Okay? Come on. You know how much people in Japan and in Europe freak out for these? You know how many companies tried to Copy. mock this? Mm -hmm. Come on, who was doing who was doing a wedge sole before Red Wing Boot? Think about that. I mean, Nobody. I'm sure other people were doing it, but they weren't doing it like that. Nobody. <laughs> so, all right, so we got that all taken care of. Now these boots are damp. What you want to do before we go through? The whole um, conditioning and process of uh, putting the finishing touches on this. You do want to let these dry overnight. Do not put these by a vent. I don't care what anybody says. People will tell you to put these in ovens <laughs> to dry them. Don't do none of that dumb shit, okay? Just take your time. Just let them air dry. Don't put them by a vent. Just let them air dry. It'll usually take about 24 hours. So when we get back tomorrow, I'll show you guys how to condition them buff these suckers out but they're looking pretty good from where they were to yeah where they are now they that no that they that a1 perico I mean, now you can put these on your feet right now hey hey <laughs> what about the lace what should we do with the lace the laces yes sir the best part about red wing boots is when your laces are messed up you can you can contact red wing on their website mm. fill out a little form it's just like a name your address and they'll send you a new pair of laces Bet. For your specific model. So, I mean, your laces weren't that bad anyway. Mm hmm. No, just for the, you know, the viewers. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, they'll give you a new pair of laces. You just fill out your name, your, your info, tell them what style it is. So for these, it would be 8131. And they'll send you a new pair of laces. I mean, most of them are all the same. I got, I've had like, what, like five pairs of red wings. <laughs> Almost all the laces are this. You OD'd on that shit. So, yeah, if you guys have any questions or comments, just leave them down in the video. 